Okay, so now that we have the idle in position, we are going to bring in our fire weapon animation, which will blend into the idle that we currently have. Now, one thing you're gonna to wanna to keep in mind is that when you import animation into the same scene, um, you will most likely gonna lose the animation that's in the actual scene currently. So I like to work with having uh, all the animations in one scene. If you're going to create uh, individual scenes for each animation, you can disregard this section and then just import animations into uh, scenes uh, that are empty uh, that, that could require you to delete animations or save them out as you import them in so that you don't lose the weapon and the camera uh, in the scene. So that depends on the workflow that you want to do. I find it easier just to keep one file that has everything. So I'm going to go through that process. So uh, click on the arrow in the, U the GUI and then select all controllers and spaces. What that's going to do is going to show you all of the animations that are in the timeline of the character. All I'm going to do is just left click and hit the shift button and then drag it all over uh, to select all the animation keys in the timeline. I'm just going to copy them and then this is what we're going to do here is we're going to bring in our uh, weapon fire animation that we exported out of Unreal. So just go ahead and browse to your folder and select the fire animation now there is an offset. If you do put the offset uh, at another frame range, like say 130 or something like that, uh, it'll put it there, but it's gonna delete all the animation in the timeline. So it doesn't really tend to work unless you're just going to offset it in the timeline. Um, it's not gonna really preserve additional animations that I find. So just hit the import button and it's gonna default, just uh, save over um, the beginning animations. And so what you're going to want to do now is select all those controllers again, and then we're just going to paste, we're going to paste that animation later in the timeline. So we know it's about 90 frames. What we can do is kind of move it over to like, let's say frame 50. I'm just going to basically set a key on 49 just to be safe. And then just right click and paste the animation. And you might see a little bit of a jump. And that is because of this animation is uh, a little bit different at the end but if you look here um, the animation too is popping a little bit so we can clean that up uh, just to make sure that the animation is exactly the same but i don't think it's going to be that big of a deal because when you shoot the animation uh, or when you have the animation shooting the weapon um, it's probably not going to be that big of a deal uh, that the, that it's moving but what, what we can do is make sure that it's identical so we have the idle in the scene now and then we also have the shooting weapon and uh, all, all we really need to do to kind of clean that up is we know that frame 50, frame 50 is going to be our idle position we just copy that and um, just for uh, just to be safe I'll set a key on frame one, but there should already be a key on everything. Uh, but then right click here, paste this, and now frame zero and frame 50 will be identical. And now you'll get that animation. And it'll blend exactly to the idle position that we had. And now you've got the weapon shooting, and then you've got your idle animation here. Obviously, if you're going to export that animation out later on, you will have to use this timeline versus the, the timeline that we had before. But this is essentially how we're going to uh, get these animations into place. Um, so we're just going to go through these and bring each one in like that so that we can have them in our timelines. Um, so that's basically all you need to do. If you wanted to um, have the same frame um, on frame 8, you could middle mouse and place frame zero at frame eight, and it will have exactly the same loop, but I think it's probably close enough. Uh, let's see how it looks in the playback. Yeah, it's so fast that it, it's not gonna really matter. So um, I think it's fine if frame zero and frame eight are a little bit different, but frame zero, you definitely wanna have the same as frame um, 50, which is your idle, and that's what we have here. So now we've got both animations in place. They could be modified, they could be changed uh, in Maya, and uh, we can go ahead and start working with these animations now. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.